Hello everyone, Max Power here with another re video review. What I have here is the Medicom uh, Vinyl Gremlins Prop Replica. And, the, and this is from the 1984 Gremlins movie. Um, I've had this piece for a little bit now. Uh, Rad Titan did a wonderful review on this one. I love those guys. They're, um, I couldn't say more. They're just funny and they're awesome. Uh, but I wanted to, to do my own uh, review here. Um, this this actually uh, was an item that for a long, long time you couldn't find him. The Medicom did an original piece apparently that um, it didn't have any of the stuff that you're seeing here, the glasses or the little pieces down there. The original one just was the, the doll itself and um, they stopped producing it. And then when I was looking for this piece, uh, they were asking for ridiculous amount of money. I mean, you couldn't find this little, this little guy for uh, $1,500 to almost $2,000 uh, US dollars. And uh, I was, man, I, I was so frustrated and I wanted to get one because I had never seen a life-size one of Replica. And so the ones that I had seen, um, I think made by professional people, um, I forgot what studio or what uh, gentleman makes these professionally, I guess, uh, using rubber latex, they were out of my price range and so was this little guy. So. I was like, okay, well, you know, at one point I was actually going to even push the button on the, the cheapest one I could find. And I'm glad I didn't because six months later, uh, Sideshow Collectibles had this little guy. Uh, and this is a, a reissue, actually. So what happened, Medicom stopped making the other ones. And then they came up with a different version of the same doll, which was, I forgot, they call it like their 3D version, I don't know, something like that. And, and really the only difference between this one and the original one is the pieces that you're seeing here, which is the 3D glasses and the little pieces right over here like this. So um, that was really the only difference. And they actually have come out recently with a another version that you can actually get online uh, for about 450 and that's they call that one the the uh, combat version which is from actually from gremlins 2 and that one uh, that one's really neat again it's all it is is just the same doll but in that specific case they have the uh, he's got a crossbow and looks like rambo i got a little uh, picture here online of what it looks like so you can get these ones uh Available so if you wanted one you can easily just remove the pieces off of them and you would have this version of it really so again glad super glad that I bought it love this piece uh, Definitely never gonna sell this piece um, This is about as close as you're going to get to uh, The more expensive made out of rubber latex professional done uh, This one's 100% vinyl the face, everything is vinyl, uh, and I'm going to show you some of the features. So it really is a, a real neat uh, item. Uh, let me bring them up closer so you can get kind of really a good idea of how nicely done Medicom did this. Uh, if you're going to do vinyl, this is the way you want to do it because they really did a fantastic job. There is possibility to this doll. Uh, and I'll show you that. So let's begin with the face. I'm going to get as close as I can with them. Um, just fantastic work. I mean, everything that's done here from the ears, the details of the ear, the eyes, they, um, I don't think they're, they're not glass. They're kind of a vinyl, I think, um, just by touching them. They don't feel like glass, or I might be wrong, but they're certainly solid. They're not painted. And they look so realistic. I mean, you look at the, the way the uh, light shines on them, uh, just like a real eye. And um, the detail has even got eyelashes. That's just nice detailing that they that they did on this doll. Uh, all this is vinyl. 
other ear as well. I'm gonna the hands really nicely done too. They have a nice little shading here of nail of what your nail would look like. Um, just really nicely done. Let me turn them this way so you can see the detail of the hands. And on the other hand as well. So really nicely done. I mean, for three, for four hundred dollars, I think this is definitely worth the price. Uh, I don't know about the thousand dollars. I guess if you couldn't find them anymore, uh, you know, like I couldn't, I you know, you could probably make uh, that decision to buy them. Uh, here are the legs or the feet. Much, not much of a leg here, but really nicely done. Medicom two thousand and thirteen. They even got a little bit of detail here. So, just again, really nice, nicely done. I really like this piece a lot. I've got, uh, there's a company called Trick or, Trick or Treat that's making uh, another version of this. It, actually, the, the this version of it, uh, theirs is, uh, it doesn't, they don't really say what kind of material they're using. Um, but they said it's from the mold from the original movie. I think that's kind of like the big thing now. Everyone says it's from the mold and you don't know what you're going to get. But uh, I ordered that one, so I can't wait to get that one. And I ordered the stripe. So we've never seen really a stripe version of this uh, particular uh, from the movie uh, in vinyl or, you know, I haven't seen it really from anybody else. But I ordered those two and when I get them. I will compare them to this piece, so hopefully they're just as good. They're not super expensive. I think they're about uh, uh, how much? Are they? like seventy bucks? I think a piece. I want to say. Uh, so I bought them both and pre-ordered them. Hopefully they'll be here. All right, and let's, I'm going to turn them around here. I don't need to really use my hand because I have them on my little handy turntable. But. I, He's not really balanced uh, as far as standing up. He's already fallen on me a couple times on this table, so I'm a little hesitant to move him too much with the turntable. Uh, his legs are a little too small for his upper body, so he has a balance issue. Um, he's barely kind of, he's teetering now as I hold him, so anything that I do, you know, it just, there you go, see, so, and I've tried, again, there's some um, articulation here, so you can move the legs a little bit, but I just, I, maybe I haven't just found, I haven't found the sweet spot for him to stand up. Um, so, for those of you that have this, maybe you know what I'm talking about. Um, for those that are planning to get one, just be aware that that is kind of a, a thing you have to be a, be careful with because again he's toppled over several times now just having him here trying to make this video uh let's see so possibility possibility very nice you got nice possibility here all the way around the hands move here so really nice same thing on this side okay legs as you can see they do move to the side there is some minor articulation to the actual leg so you can move them to the side and move the feet separately from the leg so gives you some choices as far as how you want him to move there's no articulation from the body at all the uh, head moves so you can post them this way Press them this way, turn them all the way around. It does move up and down some, so you can have them looking this way. You can have them looking up, up slightly. So, you know, for as little articul articulation that there is in this guy, um, anything that you really do, how you want to pose them, can really give them a unique look. Uh, as far as um, how you want to pose them, for example, you can have his leg kind of looking this way and his hand this way, and it gives you just kind of a real nice, um, uh, you know, 
topping over here. Oh, there you go. Again. Uh, so there you go. So he looks like he's just, it's more of a really nice pose. There we go. I got him down. So he, you can see that uh, gives him a whole different look uh, for the posing. The one thing, oh, there we, again, um, the one thing I do like is the eyes actually move. There's a, le uh, a lever here right behind the the hair. Uh, let me see if I can expose it. So there's the lever. Here, let me see if I can really show it here. So there's the lever right there. And so it moves from side to side. So you can move his, his uh, eyes. Let's see if I can get them. There you go. I tend not to use these these features. I think uh, I, my Hot Toys Batman has that, you know, the purse, I think they call it at the time. They've gotten better because now they do it in, individually. But my Batman original 1989 one had the one where there, if you would turn it to one side, it would be simultaneously. So this is the kind of like the same idea. And mine broke, so I'm really afraid to really move the eyes a lot because all it takes is maybe it's one one piece breaking and then you'd, you'd have just one eye stuck and the other one not moving. So this is about as much as I'm going to play with the eyes just because, again, I don't want to damage the eye feature. Um, the other pieces that come with it is the 3D glasses. So there's really not... Uh, you can't put them on or anything and it's really difficult for him to uh, even to, for him to hold it because it's it's really just not usable you can't really do anything I you could kind of maybe put it in between his fingers but his fingers are so wide open that it just won't hold the uh, the 3d glasses so they're pretty much kind of a useless prop uh, it does come with these ones. These ones are, let me go ahead. Okay, so these ones are just, it's just a ball. Um, it's not vinyl or anything. I could feel that they're soft or really kind of hard soft, but uh, nothing to them. Just, you know, these are the things that if you watch the movie, if you get them wet, then the these would pop out and these would create new gremlins, uh, new gizmos. So... It's nice that they included those. Um, one more thing I'm going to do before I finish this review. Um, let me see, make sure that he's not toppling over again. It's just uh, so much trouble to get him without uh, falling. Is um, I always like to, I think I'm, I, I like using this light because it just gives me another dimension as, as far as to see the prop. So I'm using the LED light to shine to give you additional detail about the way the eyes look. So as you can see, they're really, really super bright. I really like that. Uh, I'm even gonna get as closest to where you can actually see the detail of the, of the eye itself. I mean, really nicely done. You can see that they're brown. Uh, pupils are just nice and bright so uh, anyone out there any collector collectible companies this is how you do eyes this is just phenomenal work I mean if you're not going to do glass eyes and I don't know if this is or not they feel kind of more of a vinyl this is how you do them this is just, it's just sharp I really like when companies use uh, either uh, glass eyes or just make them look so real and you can see the details of the eyelashes so I'm gonna turn them around here the fur on this is done very very well definitely no complaints on how they did the fur okay uh, back out a little bit hopefully you won't topple over okay there you go so the, the sculpt of the ear just really nice um i can see why this is at least in the 300 hundred dollar range i mean they've just really really have um gotten the likeness of gizmo and um 
you know, if you can pick one of these up, I would. Uh, I wouldn't pay more than the 450 that they're asking for that other, the Rambo version of it. Um, but um, it really is just a nice collectible. If you're into gremlins or kind of unique little creatures, this is definitely a pickup um, in my opinion. So, all right, guys, thank you for staying tuned. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys. All YouTubers, all collectors that come to my channel, thank you so much. Um, please subscribe if you um, if you want to continue watching some of my videos. Uh, like the video, not like the video. Uh, you can do either one. I, I don't mind. If you don't like it, then, you know, uh, then there's room for me to improve in how I do my videos. If you like it. I know that you like how I'm doing the video, or at least you like the item that I'm review reviewing. So appreciate it again. You guys take care, and I'll talk to you soon.